After more than 10 kilometers on crutches and more than a million pounds raised, five-year-old Tony Hudgel from Kings Hill in Kent has achieved something genuinely special. Inspired by Captain Tom's 100-lap garden challenge back in April, Tony's been propelling himself around his local park, hoping to raise 500 pounds. By the middle of last week, he'd hit a million pounds, so he decided to keep going until the end of June as the donations continued to roll in. I'm just so proud of our little boy. Um, his walking has just been amazing um, and it's been lovely to just be able to give something back to the incredible hospital that saved his life. And his favourite bit? Going to the post box. Reaching the post box, that's his finishing line, the post box, every day, so he loves to reach that. Tony had a tough start to life, abused by his birth parents, who injured him so badly, both his legs had to be amputated when he was just two years old. Staff at the London Evelina Hospital nursed him back to health, along with Tony's adoptive parents, Paula and Mark. Are you ready? Let's go! Tony hasn't long had his artificial legs, and there's no doubt it was hard going at the start. His first 300 metres took nearly an hour, but with bucket loads of determination and rapidly improving coordination, he was soon doing the same distance in just 12 minutes. Hello, Tony. It's David Walliams here. During the challenge, messages of encouragement flooded in from some of the country's biggest stars. What an amazing thing it is you're doing. Oh, absolutely amazing. You are a hero. Hello, Tony. It's Joe Wicks, the body coach here. The fact that you're pushing yourself physically and raising money for an amazing charity and a hospital that took care of you is just wonderful. And when Tony reached a million pounds, Captain Tom sent a message of his own. Well done, Tony. Haven't you done well? On behalf of Captain Tom and the entire family, we are so impressed by what you've done, Tony. All the money Tony raises will go to the London Evelina Hospital to help other sick and disadvantaged children. But for now, the walking's over and Tony can enjoy a well-earned rest. Nick Wallace, 5 News.